Hey guys, Shadebear 1000 here. Today, we're going to be trying out a couple new lighters. Let's see how they work. <laughs> okay guys, what we're going to do is we're going to try out a couple uh, new lighters today. And, uh also have these um, stormproof matches I'm sure everyone has uh, seen everybody doing these reviews but I, I thought I'd throw it in here I've been wanting to get some of these for a while so we're gonna try them out now what I have here is you know this is one of my lighters I use every day this believe it or not I didn't think it was a real Zippo but I googled it because it it says uh, made in China, but it's a 2007 limited edition. Uh, but it is actually a Zippo lighter. It's a uh, Sailor Jerry. They do make them. Um, this is one I use every day. That's why it's so worn and and scratched up. And so there's that one. And I showed you guys um, this one, my pipe lighter. Now I included this in here because it's one of my favorite. I also use this almost every day when I'm not using my uh, Zippo. But uh, what we have here is a pipe lighter. We're going to open this up and check it out too. It's butane. So that's kind of, you know, a pipe lighter and pipe lighter. So there's that one. And this is the one that came with the, in the flea market finds. It says American Trucker on it. Now I, I couldn't find anything up, anything on this. This is the one that came with um, with my flask here, and they both cleaned up nice. The guy was right, but I, I uh, scanned the barcode on it, and nothing came up. Well, you know, it came up. Try typing in something different, whatever. But um, so I filled this up a couple weeks ago. I haven't used it, you know, but I will. I mean, so that works. It strikes every time. It is not a Zippo. Okay, so now uh, this lighter here is butane, as I mentioned. Okay, it's a butane lighter. It's a pipe lighter, and it's got uh, the spoon, the poker, and tamper for your pipe. Now, I don't have a t uh, pipe right now to show you how it works, but uh, I, I did have one. I don't have it anymore. Now, um, these, I bought these at Walmart. Uh, right there, you can't see it because it will not focus. But it does say 99 cents on it. I got them for 88 cents. I bought three of them because they, they said, oh, you can't buy the big cans anymore. Well, you can, you just can't. They're not selling them anymore. So I get them home. Two of them are full. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see it in there. First one I pulled out of the bag, I did not notice when I bought, is empty. I don't care if it's 88 cents or not. It's empty. You know, just take my money. Completely, completely empty nothing in it so that is going back I don't care 88 cents or not okay so uh, what we're going to do is um, okay first all right let, let's do the matches here okay let's do the matches first, and then we'll get to the lighters okay that's a glass of water of course now, I got that water there because, you know, if you haven't seen these, they're windproof, waterproof, uh, windproof, waterproof, and burns up to 15 seconds. Um, so what we're going to do is, and also the, the, the case, uh, this was like, I don't know, four bucks at Walmart or something, and you get three of these, the striking pads, you get two more that's inside here. Um, and there's a little, there's a little gasket here, a little gasket, it's supposed to be waterproof. Now this is not going to be waterproof, so if you plan on getting wet, just take this out and stick it inside and then strike your match. Um, but, the thing about this guys is, just because they're windproof and waterproof, doesn't mean, well, I got these lighters, I can go out in a rainstorm and start a fire. Well, no, you can't. You'll strike your match, and your match will burn for 15 seconds. But if something's soaking wet, the match is not going to ignite it. So, 
that's another story on how to build a fire in the rain for a later date. But let's open this up. You know, I've seen these before. I'm sure you guys have too. Now there's some cotton in there. So inside the lid there, maybe in case you need it, start a fire or just keep these from rattling around. What we're going to do here, let's pull one of these out. This is what they look like right here. See that? Now let's strike it. Okay, very nice. It burns. Now, let's take it. Stick it in the water. Still burning. Okay, it went out, but I wasted my time on it. Now, they make these things huge. They make them really, really big. Um, I, myself, I think would be fine for me on this. So, let's do another one here. And... Then we'll get to the lighters. Okay. See that? That's lit. See it's burning. Bring it out. And there you go. Shake it. Uh, so yeah, that's about 15 seconds. So that's pretty cool. I mean, for like four dollars and something, I gave for that. So less than five bucks, or let's just call it five bucks. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so let's um, let's open up this lighter and check it out. Okay, it, like I said, it's a butane, so you're gonna you're gonna fill it and uh, just like you would any other butane lighter. I'm sorry, I got you clear over here. Okay, so there it is, right there. Here's where you fill it, right down here on the bottom. And there is your little spoon for your, there's your little spoon, isn't it cute? For your tobacco, scrape your pipe out, you know, to scrape your pipe out. And there's your tamper, once you get your, um, your tobacco in there, you tamp it down and it makes it real nice and tight. That's why, why a pipe burns so long and a cigar. Uh, as you guys know, I, I smoke a little cigars. And so it kind of just closes up in there. And, oh, it's got f some fluid in it. So we will not have to fill it right at this moment. But, and then, you know, you in your pipe and you suck on your little pipe. Cherry blend. I remember my dad used to smoke cherry blend in his pipe. And uh, every time I smell somebody smoking a cherry blend pipe, I, uh, it brings back memories for me. Oops, let me fix my mic here. It's sliding down. I don't know if you can hear me. I've got a big windsock on this mic. So, but uh, very neat. And you can adjust these down here with a little tiny uh, screwdriver here. You know, so, you know, up and down. But I, I think that would be just fine. So there's that one. Okay, so I think I'm going to start collecting lighters. I did at one time. Well, one time I collect knives, like pocket knives. And, uh, and then I did do some collecting on lighters, but not major. So this, this thing, okay, you guys have probably seen this before as well. Lightning bolt technology. It's the atomic lighter. Dual electric arcs. So this, these are these are pretty cool. Now I may have to shut you guys off for a minute and, and let it let it charge up. No fuel, no flint, no flame won't blow out. So that's I've got a fan sitting over here. Not only because it's hotter than the blaze of hell and damnation, but also we're going to try it out. Let's see if we can light something with it. So let's peel this off the back here. Okay. You, know, you can take it anywhere, but remember, if you're using something like this, guys, you, you know, you're going to have to make sure that um, that you have a way to charge it. There's the little instructions. Oh, I have another lighter, too. I, w I will show you guys. I have it charging. I think it may have quit working, but it was one of the first neat lighters that uh, I bought with me and monkeys together. Um, I forgot to bring it out, my goodness. What an idiot. Okay, so 
kind of got this little, oops, sorry, blue thing over here. There's the charging cable, so let's see. I mean, why do they make the back? You can open it up like that, but you still have to cut it. Makes absolutely no sense at all to me. stuff over here and here it is there it's showing you how to adjust it down here on the bottom this is where you get the, the cord out it takes the same charging cord it's a, a micro mini uh, HDMI I think that's what they're called anyway it works the same as the phone and it plugs in right there just like that and then you, you can plug it in into a, a charging source but this is here's your on and off switch it's off right now turn it on let's see if there's any any um juice in it oh yeah can you guys see that let me uh get something here isn't that cool it's an X pattern. That is wild. Okay, now I got something here. There's a piece of paper. Let's see if it'll ignite it. I'm sure it will. There you go. Okay, there's that. Now this is a piece of cardboard. Let's see if it'll ignite that. Yes, yeah, yeah, it'll work, it'll work. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. That's awesome. I'm going to put you guys on pause for just a minute, and I'm going to go get my other lighter and show you guys uh, what I was talking about with it. So just give me one sec. Sorry. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Here's the other one. It's a Pilot. Um, it's USB. Now this one's not elect. It's, it doesn't have electrodes like this one does. But what is neat about it is um, you flip that up, and right in here it just has a little coil that gets hot. And I had it on the charger for a little bit, and how you charge this one is on the bottom. There's a little slide right on the side and you slide it and you plug it into a USB now this little button here will light up blue but uh, I, I haven't been able to seem to get it to, to charge so um, so it's dead but that that was one of my favorites as you can see I used it a lot it was, it was pretty cool because you know that coil just gets red hot like the old electric stoves you know the burners just like that only miniature and so you, you know you could light your light your um, cigarette you know what not in the uh, you know like you couldn't light a pipe but you could light your cigarette in in the wind um, it, it would also light a piece of paper you know of course not as easy as the atomic lighter but I think I gave uh, 10 bucks for this at Walmart I believe uh, over a year ago I think now this I did buy at Walmart now it was 20 bucks and they have a have a thin one it's a little bit longer or yeah they have a thin one it's a little bit longer it's for like lighting candles but it's only got the uh, the single electrode um, it was a uh, 14.95 and then of course the $10 one was a real long one with a single electrode but it was good uh, it is for it you know really long for like lighting your grill and and stuff so there's where we're at with that guys so i was going to do a review on the um let me get you up here i was going to do a review on just the matches and the lighter separate but i figured why you know let's not get boring without uh throwing out these 
you know, like a three minute video just for one little thing when it, it is actually, you know, it, it's a fire starting uh, implement. So, so that's what, what that is for. I've got my, uh, my windsock on here because I have this fan over here. And I'm, I'm on my wired mic. It's an insignia. You have 50 bucks for it at a Best Buy. Um, but it's wired. But it does have 20, 20 feet of wire to it. So there's that. So what we're going to do is we're going light to uh, light this up. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Now that's on, that's on high. Okay. Now let's see this thing. See it? Right on. Um, let's see how this does. Well, okay, it's not even lighting. It'll light back here behind me, but it will not even attempt to light there. I know this one will not do very well in the wind, I'm sure. But if I bring it behind me and cup it, yes, it does light. Um, let's try this, uh, the, the lighter out of the flask. Not bad, can you see that? Not bad. Okay, now let's try. Also, what, what I wanted to tell you guys is, um, this is, is Bronson. Okay, now you know the, the yellow, um, fluid you get for, for like, like your Zippo lighters. It's called Ronson All. It's, it's Ronson, but what I found intriguing on the back of here is Ronson is a product of Zippo. And uh, this product, this specific product right here is Zippo. It's Ronson, but it's, it's made by the Zippo Manufacturing Company in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Which, of course, uh, those of you that follow us, that's where uh, Monkey is from. She's from Niagara Falls in Canada. So um, she got a kick out of that. And I didn't know Ronson, because I, I noticed uh, the Ronson All Lighter Fluid worked just as well as the Zippo Lighter Fluid. And it was a little cheaper, by the way. And you got a bigger bottle. And I just got this little can of Zippo here. And I thought, well, man, you know, it's cheaper and I get more, but it works just as well. Well, that's probably why, because uh, Zippo manufactures it as well. Okay, so let's try this one that I use a lot as well. And see, it's lit. And this, this, I know it's not a very big fan, guys, but, I mean, you know, it's blowing pretty good here. You know, this, uh, I mean, let's see if I drop this. Well, there you, go. you know, I mean, it's it's blown. So now I imagine this being butane, I could probably turn that up. See if I cup it, it will light. But you know, it it may. But why waste fluid, right? Uh, I'm not gonna be lighting any pipes outside. So anyway, guys, there you have it. Another video from Shaber 1000. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Subscribe, please subscribe, please share my videos. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000. Um, this is Friday. I don't know if you see. You probably see it tomorrow, which is Saturday, which we are already going to be there. We're going to St. Petersburg, Florida. We're going to do a uh, scavenger hunt tomorrow during the day. We're going to go and check in our motel on the beach that has two pools and a uh, jacuzzi hot tub. And it's got a bar, a restaurant in there, so it's supposed to be very nice. And then after we leave there, we're going to uh, what they call an escape room, where you go in this room and you have 60 minutes to figure out clues to get out, out of the escape room. Now, they don't lock you in. I mean, you can leave at any time, but you're not allowed to go back. But uh, you got 60 minutes to do that and see how you do when you get out of there. Um, the other one, the scavenger hunt type thing, um, which, you know, we may do some live feeds, but if not, we're going to videotape a bunch of it. Um, you can take your time, you know. Uh, it, it, it's like a two-hour thing. But, like, when you stop and get something to eat or drink, you take your own time. It doesn't start, because it's interactive on your phone. 
so it knows when you're actually looking for clues and, and looking for what you need to look for or if you're just you know out having a drink or you know getting something to eat or in the bathroom whatever you do it at your own time anytime you want but you got like two hours to do it so that should be interesting so guys thanks for watching my videos again Shea Bear 1000 uh, the myth the man the legend Shea Bear I'm gone bye bye guys thanks for watching again